All right guys, hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. If you're new here, please subscribe. You're gonna wanna listen to this one. So here we have the uh, Vito Pro Pack MCT. In other words, a bag that I'm gonna be giving away at the end of the video. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to load it out. Uh, this is one of the most popular bags that I think a lot of guys have. You might see some of your favorite YouTubers using it. Um, I know Curtis uses one, I've seen uh, Zach use one. So a lot of guys uh, out in the field like this one. It's easy to grab. It does come with a shoulder strap. So let me uh, load it out, show you all that. And then uh, I'm gonna be giving it away, like I said, uh, just to thank you guys, you know, for supporting the channel and whatnot. Um, it means a lot to me hitting 5,000. So we're on the way to 10. Hopefully we can do that soon. And uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to thank you guys. All right guys, so what we have here is a pretty common bag that I, like I said, that people use. So you're gonna have two of these smaller pouches on the outside, which honestly, it's kind of hard to put things in here. So I mainly use it like on the backpack that I have for like jumpers and little miscellaneous things because it's kind of hard to reach in and out for that. They're super slim, but you know, they, they can be useful. You got two D rings here, you have uh, two, thinner pockets here, one wider one, your tape loop, another D-ring on top, D-ring on top, uh, two bigger pockets on this side with a measuring tape clip, which you can put your drill, your M12, anything like that. On the other side, another two D-rings here, one of those pockets on top, and then a Velcro pouch, which this one is very useful. You can even uh, put in little bits in here. They do have pockets for the bits and it has another little dividing pocket there. So you got one large one, one thinner one, and then the bit storage. So technically this is the front. So you're going to have a nice stretchy pocket on top four on this side for bits and little things. Then you got your main storage here, which I, I like the way they do this. You know, you can put your screwdrivers or tall tools here, pliers or wider tools in these pockets. And they do have bit storage. If you guys have longer bits, you can just stand them up there. And then they do have uh, side pockets on this side. They're pretty small, so we'll see what we put in there. But it's nice to have that. Sometimes I put like zip ties through these because it's a, just a long open on both sides on these two over here other side where our shoulder strap is this side's gonna have similar you got one wide one if you want to throw a few things in there uh, you still have these tall pockets here but then you have these uh, stretchy ones down below one side has an extra pocket with the long bit storage type of pockets you still got the little ones on the side if you want to hang some on the side. And then they don't have the pocket on this side in case you want to throw something. A lot of people, you know, you put your drills, your bigger uh, tools on this side. If you guys have um, electric tools and stuff, you can put them in here. Uh, meters fit well. So that's the bag in a nutshell wide base is really cool it will this one unlike some of their other ones will not tip over since it's wider i like that they did a narrow to wide base and then you can work out of it really easy um we actually do have a few for our guys um at our work this is one that they like to use too so like i said popular bag hopefully when you guys can get some use out of this one. All right, so I have to keep my tool bag as of recording this off screen. It's still not out yet, so I can't show it, but I'm gonna load it out real quick, show you guys what fits in here, and uh, kind of go from there.
All right, so there's kind of like a, just a glance at what it would look like loaded out. You got plenty of pockets. A lot of them are just wide pockets so you can kind of stuff them in as much as you want. So we have wrenches over here, a bunch of screwdrivers. My light can wedge in there pretty comfortably. Pliers on this side. And then, like I said, if you guys carry a lot of bits, I try not to. I have the this one that I use as my a bit for the um, impact if I need it. So that's how I do that. I, this is from my everyday bag. What I could probably fit was, was stuff from my backpack, but I don't want to get that down. And then you can kind of keep your, uh, what people, I think a lot of people do is keep their uh, electronic digital stuff on the backside. Since you have more room over here, like I said, you can put a drill here too if you need to. As a matter of fact, like I said, it has the clip here that a lot of people, including myself, like to use. Very easy to use, but if you want your tools inside, you can very much just wedge it in there and it'll close. You know, having your drill there, you can put it in one of the pockets if you don't carry a lot of this stuff like I do. And uh, you can even put it upside down if you put hand tools instead of clamps. These clamps kind of take up a lot of space. So yeah, you can kind of figure out how you want to do that. You can have your pressure probes in here or you can have them down below. You can have psychrometers, whatever else you have that are like wireless. Still got plenty of room in here. Got the bits up here. So comfortable bag. And like I said, up in here, I do have zip ties because it has this little like pass through pouch on all corners, I believe. So if you have anything like zip ties, I can go through it. You can kind of have them secure there uh, on my old backpack it had this and that's what i was using on my new one because i got a blackout i think they got rid of that because they have the, the v swap panel so on these older ones or the original ones they have they should have this on this model and the backpack model and that's where i put my zip ties all right guys and i forgot to mention if you guys are planning to buy yourself an mct bag i would highly recommend their new blackout version this is the original one and it's it's great it works fine but they always improve their bags. So on the blackout, you're gonna get the V-swap panels. So if you wanna take panels out and if you don't, you don't need pockets maybe on one side, uh, you can do that or you can get another panel that suits your needs. If you guys do laptops or you need more hand tool storage, stuff like that, you can change out the panels. And then what they did is they added on the flap where you open it, they added the, uh, the zipper pouch. And I think the handle, this one is held together, you know, that way. The other one is on a swivel. It's a little more just upgraded in all these other senses. So like I said, if you're looking to purchase one, you might want to spend a little bit because it does cost more, uh, a little bit extra to get that and get the extra uh, storage and customization. Just so you guys know. All right, so quick shout out to Kuwait. They sent this over as a Christmas gift. Uh, they told me that this was their new product. I haven't gone to check. This is the HT118E, just a digital multimeter. Of course, I know we need clamp meters, but sometimes at around the house, uh, working on the car, working on different projects, I actually use a backup meter. I don't go to the van and get my field piece meter, or I don't like to. So here is the meter itself. Let me pop in some batteries real quick. All right, so we got the batteries in. It has a nice kickstand because that's where the batteries go comes in with a little pouch so if we turn this on get a normal display there nothing fancy like on their other ones sometimes they have the reverse where it's black and then the numbers are white I don't know what that's called but that makes it a little hard to read but we're out here outdoors and it's super clear super bright so like I said, you can check uh, voltage, AC or DC. It does have continuity, capacitance, and ohm readings. So temperature as well. And then you're gonna go into all these other milliamp type things. You got a non-contact uh, tester, which I love that feature. And then you plug in here. 
course, it has all your leads there. It does come with batteries. I used my own to test it out. That is going to be the non-contact right there. Put it up to a outlet or whatever you're checking. And like I said, it's pretty cool as, as a backup or if you only check voltage, stuff like that. Um, oh, it is backlit. So it does have a blue backlit display. And then if you hold that, I'm assuming, yeah, you get a little flashlight. Cool when they add little things like that, little touches, makes the meter that much more functional. So guys, that's the uh, Kuwait's HT11E. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. They sent it out to me. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, as far as the details for the uh, bag, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, of course. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do so, it's free. And then uh, make sure you like the video and leave a comment on the video if you'd like one, if you think you'd like this uh, MCT. Hopefully it goes out to someone who needs it uh, for Christmas, for the holidays. Like I said, I'm gonna run this till the end of the month. So when I get back, I'll draw a winner. If you want over on Instagram, you can also enter there. So you can enter down in the comments, you can enter on Instagram and uh, don't worry, if you guys don't win this giveaway in particular, I actually have another Vito tool bag that I'm gonna give away as well. It's new. I will probably do that next year though, maybe at the beginning of the year after we take care of this one. And I wanted to include a few things, you know, it being the holidays and, and everything. So I'm gonna include some Warrior HVAC gloves. These are honestly the most comfortable gloves I've ever owned. He went ahead and sent me some and uh, I'm gonna let you guys try them out. Uh, nice little pack from uh, Home Depot. Has the eight in one stubby and the 14 in one uh, screwdriver. So you guys will get that too with the bag. And then uh, Kuwait's sent over the digital multimeter, the HT118E. It is not an amp clock meter, but if you guys uh, could use a meter, this is a good meter. It's a, like I said, multimeter. It does uh, volts, capacitance, temperature, uh, and a DC and AC. So you can use it for work if you don't check amps, or if you're like a lot of us and you're DIY at home, you're a handyman. I use a meter like this at home uh, for different things or if I'm working on the car, you know, stuff like that. So they come in handy. Uh, you can have it as a backup meter too. So I'm gonna include this in the giveaway. And uh, just to clarify, this is not sponsored whatsoever. I actually purchased the bag and uh, the Home Depot Klein Pack myself with my own money, YouTube money. I just wanted to thank you guys uh, for everything. So yeah, this was the winner of the poll. If you guys remember from early in the year, if you guys have been here that long, I asked you guys which bag you would prefer. And in turn, you, the viewers, actually chose the bag that I was gonna give away. I didn't know when I was gonna do it, but now for the holidays, I think it's perfect. Uh, appreciate all of you that are still here. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, get entered in the giveaway, and I will see you guys.